Hi right, everybody, Brahm Lagru here. You want me to reveal what happened. As you know, might know, uh, back at the sales conference in May, I announced that I was making a big career move. I was a bit done with running my events and the likes and I pretty much decided, look, if there's something that I really wanna do again, it's going to work in a larger organization, multinational, uh, selling products and help a team to sell those products. That's what I decided to do. I went to a, co a company in the solar industry and pretty much spent what I call a very intense five uh, month stint in that business. Now, the first three months were great. I had a great ball, you know, I had a team that I looked after around the country, uh, was traveling around, you know, was uh, doing deals, was setting up stuff in the back end and making sure that the team would be, you know, that the company would be geared up for success. About four months into it, things started to really go pear-shaped. The number one stakeholder that uh, I was dealing with there, he and I were not very much aligned and we started to drift apart. And as with that, that was happening, obviously the fun went out of the room as well. Now, I don't know about you, but I love having fun. I also know that I'm a creative person. I also love being my own boss. And so it, was, it became very clear and obvious that what I initially planned was not quite the plan to continue on with. So we pretty much went part after five months, I put it to bed, put it behind me, and then of course it took me a few days to do a bit of soul searching, a bit of introspection, a bit of learning like and seeing like, you know, what it has taught, uh, taught me, what did the experience bring me, and most importantly, how was this uh, experience helping me to lift my game? And I think this is really important. Anytime when something doesn't quite work out according to plan, the goal might remain the same, but it's the way to get there that might be that, you, that we might need to be more flexible about and different. And uh, that's exactly what I decided to do. Rather than take it as a setback, because I will say it did hurt a little bit on the personal level, because nobody wants to be asked to, you know, pretty much pack up and go. And so, that's really honestly what happened. I was asked to, on the, on the spot, pretty much to leave everything behind without even saying goodbye to all the people that I had developed relationships with. So a bit of a tough nut, but I think probably reality in the current business world, I wasn't aware that that was happening at the moment because the last time when I went to actually apply for a role and got it was 14 years ago. So I was a bit out of rotation. So reality check for me, you might say, and, uh, uh, let's say it took me about a week to dust myself off, so to speak, uh, collect my, um, you know, just count my blessings in the experience. And I thought, and this is probably really important for you to realize, that any time when, you know, we get a smack in the face and it, it's, re it's reality check, it's like, you know, what now? Then there's always something to learn from it. And I think that this five month stint really was the kick in the butt that I needed because I got a bit complacent in my old business. Secondly, I didn't realize it very well, but about six months, about six to seven years into my business, I just realized that I didn't have a scalable business. And that was a hard, you know, nut to crack. It just taught me again from, I needed to sort of the, 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 the you know, the, the kick in the butt, so to speak, to get serious about me, serious about my dream, serious about the things that I truly hold dear to my heart. And once again, reflecting on this sort of five month stint again in the corporate world is that I was finding myself working 10 hour days, which is perfectly fine. Uh, but away from the people that I loved. I was spending an hour and a half to two hours additionally in the car. So by the time I actually left home at seven and got back around seven, there's a, two, a 12 hour journey that just went past. Uh, I got home, I was knackered, I was really tired. Uh, I didn't have time to really spend with my family but because by that time my son would go off to bed. So everything that really I was going to work for that should have you know, helped me to be more present, to add more value, my reasons of being, which is my family. I wasn't really quite doing the right thing by them anymore. And so reality check. Then suddenly having a week to go and pick up my son, 
drop him off in school between nine and three, that was my window to actually create something extraordinary, something that is dear to my heart, something that allows me to have make a difference in the world and you know fulfill my dreams. And so once again, long story but short, but I now know what I'm here for. I now know the type of business that I want to build. I also now have the burning desire to make, you know, to do what it takes to get me there. And that is all thanks to my five month stint. I don't know whether my boss or not believe, uh, realizes this, but I am so grateful for the experience because I've got my mojo back. I now know again why I'm here, how I'm gonna go about it, and I'm going to do something extraordinary. So stay tuned with me here. This is Brahm Le Guru back in the saddle, back with the hands on the steering wheel, taking the world on to build a global business. And I'm going to do that predominantly online. So for the next few weeks and months, you'll see me you know, do a lot of stuff online. You, as you decide to actually you know, go behind the scenes with me, you'll see me do even more there you know, online because that's really what I want to do. I want to build a global business and I want to do it for you guys. And of course, do well along the way for myself and my family. So done with the corporate you know, um, rat race where I'm just like on the little wheel, hamster, 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 run, 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 trying to please somebody and make it work. You know what? The ultimate people that I want to do it for is my family and for people like you that are serious about being inspired, having fun, you know, living life more to the fullest, you know, having the impact that you desire, making the money that you want, having the time to do the things you value and love. And that's what it's about. So look forward to spending some more time with you online and potentially down the track again face to face because down the track, yes, I want to do more live events again, but it won't be for very soon. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day ahead. This is Brown.